Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I want to talk with you guys about time. Time. Time is a gift from God. The moments that we have, the time that we have, the 24 hour period we have, the seven days a week, the 12, 12 months out of the 12 months a year that we have, this is a gift from God. You know, outside of time, there is eternity. I always give this, um, give this example to let people know that, you know, how sometimes we look at things and say, well, Lord, I've been praying for this for how many years? And with God, that's non-existent, you know? And I give this example to say like the earth is like a snow globe in God's hands. And he stands outside of time within the snow globe of time that we live in. You know, it's, in the snow globe on this side of the world, it's now or where I am at in my zone and in my state and where I'm located, it is Thursday, okay? And it's a certain time, right? Oh, Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.36 p.m. Okay, right now it's 12.36 p.m., right? My time, okay? And it's... Another time somewhere else in Germany, they're like seven, eight hours ahead, right? They're getting ready to close out their evening. But God stands outside of that time. Outside of time is eternity. So he holds us here and we're, we're busy like little ants doing our little thing. And God steps outside of that. So he gives us time because without time, we'll be in chaos. I'm trying to tell you that. You know, I have something that I'm going to share. It's in uh, my journal that the Lord shared with me about time. But this, you know, I'll do that in another video. But outside of that, if we don't have it, it will be chaos. It will just, we need that for ourselves. We need order. Okay. So what I'm saying to you is this whole video is know that time is precious. What you do with your time is really, really important. Your life is time. Every breath you breathe that's time every air every breath you take that's time okay every day when you know one every, each day not being funny we're one day closer to the end of our time right so what you do with your time is absolutely important guys so i'm saying this don't use your time to do wrong don't use your time to keep up that grudge don't take time to go into, okay, you had an argument with your spouse yesterday. So now you took the rest of the time of that day to be mad and you woke up and now you're going to use your time today to take it to the next level of being mad at your spouse or whatever. Don't take your time to wake up to go sin because listen, let's say right now, right now, if I'm mad at you. And right now, okay, Alexa said it was like, I'm sorry, it said it was like 1237, right? So what happens is, let's say at 1237, I decide I'm going to be real mad at you. And, and I curse you out. Okay, that time, that moment has happened and it's now suspended in time. I can... At 1240, decide, you know what? That was wrong. Let me go and say, I'm sorry. You see, I can't go back and take back what I said, but what I do at 1240 can change what I put in the air at 1237. You see, but no, I'm not going to do that. I ain't going to say sorry. I'm going to go into the next thing. And so now I'm, uh, I'm upset. I said something mean to you. And now I'm getting the phone and tell somebody something about you too. Okay. And I'm going to do that. Mm, I might do that three, but all the time I'm holding this feeling. So time is going and I'm carrying this feeling and I'm creating little things in, in time and in the heavens, you see. And at three o'clock, I get on the phone and I tell somebody somebody something about you and I say a couple more things to you. Now that goes up in the air. Now I can very well at the end of the day, kill, make all what I've done and what I put in the air null and void. You understand? but I don't. So this day, Thursday, I go to bed and leave all this mess in the air, all the strife, all, all the angry words, all the ugliness. 
I've lost that time. I can never go back. So now it builds up into the next thing. And in the meantime, I'm over here causing mischief. I'm over here laying up in bed with somebody. I have no business doing that. Now I've done, I've, I've put another etch in time. I've done this deed, you know, and, and God is talking to my conscience and he's talking to my spirit, but I don't want to listen. So I go over here and I do something else. Every moment counts. Because that builds. God gives us this dome, this capsule of time to say, God, forgive me. Forgive me for my sins. To go back and to, listen, make those things null and void. Now, sometimes there's still consequences. But for this video, we say, make those things null and void. But you don't. And so you have all these things that you've put in time. Over here, though, you've caused pain and torment and, and hurt on this side in time. It's here. But now you're over here praying, Lord, bless my hands, Jesus really but you got all of this over here that you're not dealing with you see and what happens is you draw things to you and and your time what are you doing with it you're wasting it you know you think you can think of many other scenarios but what i'm saying is use your time wisely it is a gift from god use your time to be a helping hand to your brother and sister be a, be use your time to be a help to the stranger Use your time to do something like this. Let every day you're professing something about the Lord to somebody. Use your time to go out and, and just look at the sky and, and the trees and enjoy your day. To love your family. You know, to make the best of every day. Everybody, everybody didn't wake up today, guys. Everybody didn't get up today. So time is a gift from God. Use it wisely. The first thing you always want to do with your time is to use it for his glory and his honor. The first, when you get up in the morning, I wake up and I look at, you know, look at my family and, and look at them breathing. And, and I look at me and I, I'm like, Lord, I thank you that I'm alive today. I, I, I'm still alive. And I give him praise. So the first part of my moments, my breaths is, Lord, thank you. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Giving him praise, doing something, you understand, and being mindful of him in all things. And knowing that even this video, the last seven minutes that I've talked to you, that's gone. I can't go back and get what I said. I can repeat it, but I can't capture that time it's gone now what's going up in the heavens today is god seeing today i took time the time that he's given me to 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 encourage my sisters and my brothers to hopefully win souls for him you understand whatever i decide to do later laugh play run whatever he's given me that that day to do that that laughter this i can laugh right now guess what that laughter that moment is in time that that pleasure that that feeling of happiness when you laugh that's going out there i can laugh again but it's not that same laugh it's not that same moment you feel me so that's why your time is so important use your time wisely for the things of god don't let the devil cause you to waste your time doing wrong doing evil get into mischief not saying you're sorry doing all these different things wasting your time with toxic people there are people who they just want to be evil they want to do wrong and then they just taking it out of you they they did they 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 wasted your time yesterday and they hurt you yesterday and today they come with something else no Use the wisdom of God. Use the wisdom of God, guys. But use your time for his glory. It is for you to enjoy your life. He made the sun. It's pretty. I have beautiful flowers right out that window. And guess what? The Lord knows I like that. So I look out there and I could enjoy it. And be like, wow, that's so pretty. You know, he wants you to enjoy things. He wants you to laugh about something funny. But just remember, your time is valuable. Because guess what? When time ends, now it's eternity. You see, and that's when it boils down to people that spent their life doing a whole lot of wrong and doing these things and not thinking about the consequences. Everything that they did in this time, all the chances they had to fix it when they leave this world and they step into eternity, the reports of the things that they did with their time now goes into eternity with them. And their eternity is going to be predicated by what they did with the time they had now. You understand that? I hope it made sense. All right, guys. So be happy, be blessed, enjoy. All right. Bye.